changing set points or commanding values. In building automation, changes of set points or switching command values are often used tasks of an operator. The treatment of events, for example, is also one of the commanding topics, but we will deal with it in the chapter specifically dedicated to it. Please note that these tasks require read and write permissions for the objects and it is possible that the privileges may be restricted for your user. In the following we show a few possibilities. When selecting the main object of a plant in the system browser, as shown here, for the air handling unit plant, the main value of the plant is marked in the graphic, which in most cases is the operating mode. Additionally, and in an overview, the set points are displayed in the properties section of the right panel. In fact, the property section is one of the most used tools to modify values. The thicker bordered fields in the viewer indicate that these values can be changed, like the set points here for example. On the other hand, the properties like the top three are objects that cannot be changed by manual action. The way set points or other values can be changed in Flex Client is fairly self-explanatory, as we will see in a moment. To change a set point such as the cooling set point, we select the field that changes the border to green as feedback. The tool offers us three possibilities to make the change, select the value and rewrite it, change the value with the spin buttons, or change the value with the graphic replication using the slider. Confirmation with the green checkmark will execute the change and updates the plant control in the graphic page. To change the operating mode manual, the application offers us a drop-down menu. As a demonstration, we select off and confirm the change, which causes the air handling unit to turn off. We switch to automatic operation and let the control do the job again. To remember a value change later, we can use the memo feature in the right panel to create, view, and edit an object memo. A memo can include notes about an object being out of service, scheduled maintenance, value changes or ordered parts. We note the set point change and save the entry. Clicking on edit allows us to add more comments. The icon now gets a red dot to indicate that a memo is added to this object. For the next exercise, we select the outside air temperature sensor. We have two new cases showing in the properties section, a thinly bordered box and a thickly bordered box with the vertical ellipsis. These indicate possible further actions. The next two executions may require higher access rights, as they are not common commands. In the thick bordered box, we do not have a set point but a measured, actual value, the outside air temperature. When changing the value, we force to overwrite the current real value. This is indicated in the graphic with an orange arrow. When we switch to advanced in the priorities section, this is confirmed by the manual operation executed with BACnet Priority 8. Via the command offered in the vertical ellipsis we can now release the manual overwrite with auto, and, return to the normal state. In the next case, devices, aggregates or entire plants can be put out of service for example for maintenance reasons. Also here, via the vertical ellipsis we put the sensor out of service, which is indicated by a crossed, orange circle at the graphic symbol. In reverse, we can put the object back into operation. Another feature that Dezigo CC offers us, is the in-graphics commanding. For this example purpose, we switch to room 4. In the area of the room set points in the graphic, we have the possibility to change the operating mode or the set points directly in the graphic, without having to use the right panel. In the room operation mode, we can change an operating mode via the drop-down menu, and, in the case of set points, either overwrite the value or change the value with the help of the spin buttons. For the next action, we open the system browser again and filter for manual operating with an asterisk in the main building. As a result, we get all the manual operating switches of all plants in this building. With a multiple selection, we choose multiple objects of the same type because we want to command one property for all of them. 
The primary pane and properties are confirming that it is a multi-selection. The property section lists all common properties of the selected objects to operate, in our case just one, the value. In other cases, the list of common objects can be much longer. By clicking on this box, the viewer lists all the manual operation switches and additionally a field at the top that is available for the joint execution of a command, separated from the others by a thin line. So, the viewer offers us the possibility to execute a command with the topmost field, which will be executed on all other objects. Or the possibility to execute individual commands for each plant. Our goal is to switch off all the plants in this building by manual operation switch. We change the operating mode to off and confirm the action. As a result, the plants shut down or change operation to protection, where no operating mode off is available. The common command to auto brings us back to the desired starting point. Please note, when selecting multiple objects, no notes can be entered in the memo. The user interface of course adapts to the defined privileges of a user. This is our next subject.